Landscape Forms was started in 1969 by John Chipman Sr., a landscape architect from Michigan State University. He saw an opportunity to improve the quality of furniture and outdoor spaces and to keep the employees who worked in construction busy during the low season. The company was founded on design and people, and I don't know that you can separate the two internally or even with our customer. So there's an understanding of design, I think, not just from the founder, but uh, through the people who are in charge today. Culture is one of our competitive advantages, and we, we think about culture and we, we do culture intentionally. The Scanlon process helps us with that. Identity, it tells us that we really have to know who we are and what we're doing in order to be able to use all of our expertise and all of our talent. The second principle is participation. If everyone is allowed to innovate and actually ask to innovate, we get all of the advantage of all of those different brains working on a, on a problem. Principle three is competence, and that's really about understanding what we have to be good at. Equity is the fourth principle that we share in the profitability of the company. Studio 431 is Landscape Forms Customs Division. Uh, we basically are, are around to make our clients' custom ideas and custom projects come to life. Five or six years ago when we started Studio 431, high-end architects, high-end designers really weren't specifying a lot of standard products for their projects. They wanted to design their own. We had to get in the custom market because we have a very select group of people we really want to work with and who really want to work with us. Lighting technology hadn't changed for 130 years since Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. We were very fortunate to come into LED lighting at a time where we were able to listen to lighting designers and try to come up with solutions rather than just products. LED lighting has the potential of not only saving energy and saving uh, carbon emissions, but LED lighting also has the opportunity to really uh, reinvent the way that we light spaces. On a more elevated level, we continually host things like roundtables where we hear the voice of the profession and hear what's on their minds in terms of trying to problem solve for healthcare, for transit, for campuses. We have a great group of engineers here and they're pretty open to anything we have for suggestions. If we have a question about any of their details on their prints or that, we come up and talk to them or if they have any suggestions on how we could do it and do it faster or better, they come out and talk to us. As you can tell from our offices, we're a very open and communicative environment. Uh, so we have designers sitting next to marketing people who sit next to customer service people. The most important part of marketing communications for us is storytelling. The product is presented in a context and a vision of how it might be used in a beautifully landscaped environment with a nice piece of architecture that really complements where you might envision this product being. I try to describe to people our history and our growth. I like to show a chart of our growth going back to 1969 when the business was founded. We have doubled every six or seven years since then. So the chart uh, of our growth is a, is a beautiful one. It has a couple of little blips along the way, but by and large it's, it's a, um, a lovely reaching for the sky kind of uh, chart that anybody in business would love to see. That both is fun to look at from a historical vantage point to say, my look at what we've done, but looking forward, it also tells us what we need to do because we need to double again in the next six or seven years. So we're going to double in the next six or seven years. What are we going to have to do? That's a scary thought and yet it's very motivating for us and we know historically that we've been able to do it. So it gives us a level of confidence going forward. We bend metal, we weld metal, we cut wood, we put finishes on things, we, we paint. Those are not things that are uncommon. Because we're doing them from a design-focused place, we command um, a different uh, respect and a different place in the market. So we feel having a design-based culture is absolutely critical to our mission. And we also feel that engaging everyone is critical. And opening up the design process to everyone to engage in is absolutely key. It's reflected in our physical space. It's reflected in how we work with each other. 
and it's reflected in why we do uh, what we do. All companies evolve. Uh, Landscape Forums has uh, always been known for great design of product, but more importantly is our ability to stay close to the landscape architect and the designers and understand what they're trying to achieve. It's not just how pretty the product is, it's that it helps the problem solving. So artful can mean many things. One is the beauty of the product, but two, it's the ability to execute. And three, it's the ability to meet the customer's expectation when they open the box. The design is really understanding the issue to solve and doing it in the most artful way.